Welcome to Diabetes Connections in the News. I'm Stacey Sims, and these are the top diabetes stories and headlines of the past seven days. In the News is brought to you by the T1D Exchange. T1D Exchange is a nonprofit organization dedicated to improving outcomes for the entire T1D population. Our top story this week, it's very early, but Australian scientists say they have a new way to restore insulin production in pancreatic cells, and it's using a drug that's already approved for use in humans. In lab experiments, the team was able to activate stem cells to begin expressing insulin by exposing them to a drug compound known as GSK-126. These cells don't normally produce insulin, but the drug let them basically step into the shoes of the beta cells that had stopped working. GSK-126 is already approved by the U.S. FDA and elsewhere in the world as a treatment for cancer. It is known to be safe, which could reduce hurdles down the road. But these experiments were conducted on cells, not even in animals yet, so there is a long way to go. A couple of big announcements from Tandem Diabetes this week. They've widened the rollout of their mobile bolus feature, now open to all customers with in-warranty T-Slim X2 pumps and compatible smartphones. Approved earlier this year, Mobile Bolus has been available for a few weeks to a small group of users. Tandem also announced it acquired infusion set developer Capillary Biomedical. To quote the press release, Capillary Biomedical's unique extended wear infusion set technology is currently in development and is not commercially available. The company designed its steady flow seven day wear infusion set technology to extend patient wear time and maintain insulin stability. Capillary Biomedical received FDA investigational device exemption for the platform in January of this year. Dexcom is launching their G6 mobile app in Spanish. It's estimated that nearly 12% of U.S. Latino adults have diabetes. Dexcom says, quote, launching the G6 app in Spanish is a positive step toward improving health equity for individuals with diabetes who primarily speak Spanish. To get this, you need to install the latest version of the app and then set the compatible iOS or Android smartphone language to Spanish, the app will automatically display as long as the phone language is set to Spanish. Big issue for a diabetes app in the UK, Cam Apps FX is an automated insulin delivery system that works with Dexcom in tandem, but Google has blocked it from the Play Store and won't let it send text message alerts. Cam Diab, the company behind it, is having to send the messages via another service and pay for each one individually, Google says it doesn't allow any apps other than the designated text message app on a device to send SMS messages. Cam Apps FX is by experts at Cambridge University. It was the first system of its kind to be recommended by the NHS for use by children and pregnant people. We'll see if the court of public opinion has any sway on what happens here. Should we get excited about a new smart necklace said to measure glucose in sweat? Ohio State University recently presented the necklace, which has a clasp and pendant with biochemical sensors installed on the back. When placed around your neck, it could capture sweat and analyze glucose, serotonin, sodium, potassium, and hydrogen levels. In one experiment where people cycled and drank sugary drinks, the sweat measured the increased glucose levels with a 98.9% accuracy. They didn't really say what that means, though, increased glucose levels. Is that a specific number? Did they just measure that glucose levels went up? Long way to go here, but very interesting idea. Right back to the news in just a moment. But first, let me tell you about the T1D Exchange Registry. This is a research study conducted online over time designed to foster innovation and improve the lives of people with T1D. The platform is open to both adults and children with T1D living in the U.S. Your personal information remains confidential and participation is fully voluntary. Once enrolled, you can complete annual surveys. You have the chance to sign up for other studies. The registry aims to improve knowledge of T1D, accelerate the discovery and development of new treatments and technologies, and generate evidence to support policy or insurance changes to help the T1D community. Find out more, go to t1dregistry.org slash Stacey. That's t1dregistry.org slash S-T-A-C-E-Y. A new Netflix movie featuring Type 1 is getting a lot of attention. It's called Purple Hearts. It tells the story of aspiring singer-songwriter Cassie Salazar. The synopsis says, Chasing her dreams isn't exactly easy when she's juggling multiple jobs and trying to keep her type 1 diabetes at bay. Raised by an immigrant single mother and navigating a cruel healthcare system, 
Cassie has seen how the land of the free has been anything but for people like her. After learning that Marine spouses get full health benefits and extra pay, Cassie comes up with an idea to marry one. Although the marriage is temporary, their true feelings for each other are revealed when an unexpected tragedy sends her now husband home earlier than expected. I've reached out to the filmmakers. We'll see if this one gets type one right, but it sounds like they do understand some of the healthcare system. Next week on the podcast in our long format show, I am talking to Jeff Ryan. He was diagnosed with type one as a little kid back in 1971. He also lives with an essential tremor and he was one of the first people to have brain surgery for it, which was very successful. Really interesting guy. Great to talk to him. And the long format episode that is out right now is with Sebastian Sassville, who completed the Race Across America, a coast-to-coast cycling event in just 12 days. And Sassville lives with type 1. You can listen wherever you get your podcasts. And that is in the news for this week. If you like it, please share it. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you back here soon. Diabetes Connections is a production of Stacey Sims Media. All rights reserved, all wrongs avenged.